We were poring over Jerome Powell's statement and the testimonies that he gave to see whether he was in some way more sanguine about allowing an inflation overshoot. He was cautious. Yet you say the text here is very important from Lael. Yes, because uh, she included a, a sentence or two in the text saying that the Fed would welcome a small temporary overshoot of 2% in order to offset the undershoots of the past. Right. And the fact that it was in the text, I, I think, is important. And it suggests that there still is, you know, obviously she's a dove, but there still is a wing of the Fed that really thinks that we have to make up that past undershoot, at least to some extent. So was she hawkish or dovish? If you had to do, uh, if you had to make a call on this, which one is it? Ultimately, I would view this as dovish. Yes. Because I think it's more, much more important whether they allow inflation to run up some two and a quarter, two and a half percent, as opposed to three or four. I think what the Fed's trying to get the market ready for and what they're trying to get the market to understand is that given the stimulus that's in the system mm. and the momentum that we had both domestically and from abroad that four hikes isn't hawkish I mean four hikes is like you know babyish you know it's not <laughs> it's not as bad you know we have three so four seems bad mm. three priced in but it's not really going to do much damage now when you talk about inflationary pressures I go back to our earlier conversation about uh, trade and tariffs Paul Ryan uh, the speaker warned that the trade war could offset some of the positive boost from the the tax cut would a trade war if it comes to that delay Fed rate hikes I think it would and, and for the following reason, that um, even though they, they have a growth and they have an inflation target or an employment inflation target, I think that they would see the price inflation coming from a trade war as being kind of one off. Um, whereas the, if, if you see the economy slowing down and, and you know, jobs getting lost, I think that they would really be worried that this could uh, become something much worse. Mm -hmm. So I think that if we ever saw that first round of inflation become a second round, then they would become uber hawkish. They might tolerate the first round, but seeing the jobs lost, um, I think would scare them.